So new at six, two pregnant women have died from the flu in Wisconsin. Yona Gavino looked into it and uh, talked to OBGYNs who stress if a woman is pregnant, it's never too late to get that flu shot. Yona joins us live in the newsroom to tell us what else she found out. Yona. Mike and Carol, we've learned the two women were from the southern part of the state. The Department of Health Services can't tell me which city or county they were from, but they do say southeast Wisconsin has more flu cases because of the higher population. Dr. Rachel Laven isn't just an OBGYN, she's also a pregnant mom. I'm about eight months pregnant, and as soon as I could get the flu shot, I did. She says pregnant women are at an increased risk of getting the flu. Their immune systems are already compromised, and if they get hit with the flu, they can't even fight it normally like they would. And so their side effects are even worse than if they weren't pregnant. If you're pregnant, you should definitely get vaccinated. The vaccine is still available as long as your physician is offering it and it doesn't matter how far along you are. Dr. Laven says it's safe to get a flu shot any trimester during the pregnancy. It'll still be effective and the baby will be protected. Even patients who've declined it, I'll try to bring it up again at another future visit. Um, but really, we should be talking about it as soon as flu season starts to make sure that patients are getting vaccinated. Emily is 23 weeks pregnant. She also got her flu shot. She's not just a patient. I'm actually a primary care physician myself, so I know the importance of getting the flu shot, not only to protect me, as well as to protect the baby. The Wisconsin Health Department states only 31% of Wisconsin residents have gotten a flu vaccine this year. Statewide, there are nearly 2,000 confirmed cases of the flu. You should call your doctor right away if you have the flu or have been exposed to it. This year's flu vax or flu strain is affecting younger generations and younger populations more than it has in the past. And the health department reports that 851 people have been hospitalized for the flu. Other than getting a flu shot, common hygiene tips like washing your hands and covering your mouth when you sneeze or cough will also help prevent the flu from spreading. Mike and Carol. All right, thank you, Yona. Important information there. Pro